In this session, we're going to go over how to add a product in Shirdan. First, you go up to Products and then click Products. Once you get here, you will see this screen that you see here. You would click Add a Product. From Add a Product, you'll see a few different things here. One, you'll see the navigation bar on this side where you can easily go to each individual section. This is a one page lister, so you can easily go through everything in one page and then click add when you're done. Up at the top, you have the fields that apply to most of the channels that you will be listing to. Now I'm showing you from the add product screen. If you were to click create draft, that would save the information that you've already entered in and it would look something like this. So from here, you see now update and select an action. With select an action, you can preview the item, create a similar item, create a variation, or retry the item slash relist the item on these channels here. The only difference here is you would have add, create draft, and reset. Now reset is only used if you needed to reset everything that is on this entire page. And if you want to get rid of this item, you can simply click the trash can down at the bottom. Now coming back over here, I can choose where I want or do not want the item to be listed to. It's as simple as starting that from up here, and then you can simply skip them from the navigation bar as you're going down. With the title, you will see that it is being copied in each and every individual section, and you can make changes if you want to for that particular channel. And stock would be the quantity, the price also gets copied down, and you can enter in these other fields as well. Scrolling down, you will see the condition, which also applies to all of the channels as well. And then you have the full description. With the full description, you will notice the editor over here, to which if you typically only enter in text and the channels that you list on require text and not HTML, I would strongly suggest not using HTML in here. Otherwise, if you're going to be using mostly eBay and other channels such as Magento that allow HTML, you can go ahead and switch this on and enter in your information here as your description. In the Amazon section, you will notice all of the fields that you need to fill out, such as the ASIN and the title. Now, as you notice, the title and the price are copied from the main general section. We will go over more Amazon settings in the Amazon tutorial. Scrolling down, you'll also see eBay has the title and also the price copied as well. You can enter a category ID or search for the category and then choose an eBay template as well. With the item specifics for eBay, you can even start typing and it'll automatically show up with the options that eBay generates. Now scrolling down, you can also enter in your payment profile, return profile, and you will notice that we have a second instance of eBay in this account, but as you saw in the general, we chose not to list on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip over this section. Under the Etsy, Magento, and Volusion sections, you will also notice similar fields such as title, description, price, and in this case for Etsy, it has materials, who made, when made, etc. So each channel will have their specific fields in their sections. Some of them will be copied from the general or from other fields. If you are listing in the Sheridan storefront, you will have all of these options underneath here. Now let's jump down to media. When you're uploading photos, you can select more than one photo by holding down your shift key. And once they upload, you can use the Instagram simple photo editor to be able to adjust these by simple rotation, adjusting the brightness or contrast. And you could even crop the image so that it makes sense for your channel. Once you know you're done, you click save and you can move on to the next picture. And you can also drag and drop the images to put them in the right order that you want to show them on your channels. Scrolling down, you have all of the different shipping sections within the shipping area. Now what that means is the weight will transfer over from eBay to Amazon to Etsy. It's all shared. Same with the dimensions and the box weight and dimensional weight. And below the dimensions and weight, you will notice all of the different channels such as eBay, your second instance of eBay, storefront, etc. Second to last would be the user fields. Now what this means is if you have created fields specific to your channels, such as Amazon, bullet point would be used for Amazon, 
or if you have stock or vendor control fields, you can use those as well. You can enter all of these here, and also you can drag and drop the fields that make sense. And if you have fields that you don't want to display, you can simply click the X and it will load them up here to where you're not looking at every single field, especially if you have 100 different fields possibly. And the last thing I want to show you is the item history, which shows when you add or edit an item. But most importantly, it shows whenever you have an error with an item or whenever you have a success whenever you've listed it onto a certain channel. Now in this case, since this was a draft, in order to list it on the channels that, are, that I selected up in general, I would go to select an action and retry item. But in the case of a brand new item and you haven't drafted it, you would simply just go to add. This concludes adding a product onto Shardine. Sure